How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be getting into some viewer game highlights. We're going to be testing out Wade Boggs as well as Salvador Perez. They're going to be making their debut in this video and we'll go ahead and get right into the gameplay. In this video I'm going to be using Wade Boggs in the number two spot of the lineup and Salvador Perez in the number three spot. Now I normally would not bat these players in that specific area of the lineup if I was using them for my ranked seasons team but I also probably wouldn't use either of them during a game of ranked seasons if that makes sense so with that being said I wanted to test these cards out in some viewer games some quick uh, three inning games here that it will include a lot of action and a good variety of uh, different pitchers that we're going to face here in Wade Boggs very first at bat we get a check swing that I felt like could, could have been a base hit might have been a line drive out to the second baseman but that also could have been a uh, a double into the gap depending on if it got over the second baseman's head or not anyway we got a check swing first at bat with a couple of these guys we're not the greatest at bats but we do plan on uh, getting a couple knocks with them later on in this gameplay that's why we're using these three inning games to debut these cards put them at the top of the lineup to get them quite a few at bats in this video so we're also going to be using Zach Granke on the mound for each and every start and we're going to go to Fernando Rodney Rob Dibble and a couple other guys in the bullpen if we have to so I am going to be trying to use that Fernando Rodney as much as I can to really uh, see how good he is in this year's game I think he's one of the better right-handed relievers that we have so with that being said we're going up against uh, Pizzles in this next game here and uh, playing a, a good variety of people over on the Twitch stream a uh, good amount of people that are subscribed they do have an increased chance to win we're using an auto generator to select the winner for this we use a keyword and an auto generator uh, a bot to select a winner and then we play these three inning games we add people as a friend we play these three inning games and it's a good way to interact with the stream it's a good way to interact with everybody who plays this game and watches the video so in this next one we are using Andrew McCutcheon in the leadoff spot this card's been pretty good I've hit a couple home runs with them here he hits one off of Felix Hernandez and ends up with a base knock so looking to get something going here with Wade Boggs with that check swing in the first at bat this time he's ripping a base hit to the left side luckily that wasn't a ground ball would have easily been a double play that's the one thing about that card he's he only has like mid 60s pop uh, same type of thing with this Salvador Perez though he only has 60 power against righties here he sends one deep a sweeping curve over the middle of the plate but Salvador Perez also has 122 clutch so that will also come into play with runners in scoring position and we saw that ball was sent out at 100 miles an hour off the bat so uh, some of those things we're trying to look at see how that will play into the game I'm also trying out Willie McCovey I've had a couple at bats with this Willie McCovey card here's his first knock probably should have been a perfect perfect out I don't really know what happened in the outfield there kind of had a weird animation let the ball drop in I've seen that a few times but we are able to close this game out with Rodney uh, kind of got lucky there on that last pitch that was a hanging changeup. I felt like he uh, might have rolled over on it got a little lucky but that's that speed differential with Fernando Rodney and that's what really makes him extremely effective in this game he throws a 100 mile an hour sinker then the 80 mile an hour changeup. anyway we'll go ahead and hop into this next game uh, Zach Greinke has been extremely effective for me playing with him in viewer games now I know that uh, if I use this card in ranked seasons, he might even be a little bit better because we're playing three inning games. There is a shortened stamina. The pitches won't necessarily break as much for as long or at least for as many pitches. So with that being said, we have to keep those things in mind. I mentioned that in my previous video when trying out some of the other Ducks on the Pond cards as well. But I wanted to focus on Salvador Perez and Wade Boggs. The Salvador Perez has a really good swing. I think that he is much better than I initially thought. I mean, I would uh, consider trying that card out if you haven't done so already, if you don't have Buster Posey, if you don't have a creative player at catcher, if you don't have Craig Biggio, or if you're not really liking a guy like Gary Sanchez, the 87 Diamond, or someone like that. So uh, also, I wanted to mention that I'm using Didi Gregorius, the player of the month, and the Carlos Correa player of the month. In my most previous video, my most recent video, I talked about uh, Cody Bellinger could be the potential June player of the month card released on June 11th I think it could also be Charlie Blackman as well I think that uh, he was the card in 19 for the June player of the month 
I think that we're due for an outfielder. I was talking a little bit about it on my stream. The first two player of the month cards are both shortstops that play, uh, you know, the infield or uh, short second and third. So with that being said, I think we're due for an outfielder, potentially a pitcher. But I think we're going to have an outfielder before we see a pitcher. Uh, just kind of my feeling on this one. But uh, I think that we could either see Cody Bellinger, Charlie Blackman. I think the community would want Bellinger a little bit more than Blackman. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into this next game as well. I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. Going up against Domino's, who uh, is always in the stream. He always participates in viewer games and is always trying to enter and win. He won a couple days ago, and here he won again. So uh, there are you know some rules to the viewer games and everything, but you are able to win uh, once each day. If we do viewer games you know, every week or every day of the week, then you are able to win a game each and every time. So... I think that that's pretty cool. We got to give everybody a fair shot, and uh, each day is a new day. So, anyway, uh, Salvador Perez, another base knock up the middle. We have Didi Gregorius coming up, and he's got one of the better no doubters in the entire game. I think I might try and use this card off the bench a little bit. That card just seems to uh, do really well against me. Haven't really tried him out, and in his first two at bats, he hits two home runs. So, that's a card I might look to use in the future as well. So, uh, this Carlos Correa is also really good. Uh, I like the face of the franchise, Carlos Correa. I use them kind of off the bench more so than anything else. But I think that that card's also pretty good. Here we hit a home run with Mickey Mantle. But we need all the runs we can get. We're going up against a lot of good players that are uh, used to watching. You know, a lot of good content creators play this game. A lot of people that support, you know, the Twitch streams and uh, watch the YouTube videos are very good at this game so with that being said we need all the runs we can get these are friendly games at the end of the day but we're also trying to have you know some good fun competitive games that we can practice uh, on certain things and get better and try new cards out that's what it's really all about it's all about interacting with uh, everybody that watches the content if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be able to uh, help out as many people as i can with these videos with this gameplay with this game in general so Honestly, I really appreciate each and every one of you guys that uh, uh, comment on the videos. You know, let me know about some feedback. Uh, talk about how I've helped you guys and which way I could improve the content as well. All of those things really mean a lot. And I honestly can't thank you guys enough for the crazy amount of support that we've had recently on the channel. On both Twitch and over here on YouTube as well. So, I just want to say thank you guys. I can't say that enough. And, uh... I feel that I should say that more often just because I have to show you all that I appreciate everybody that watches the stuff and uh, supports the content. So anyway, we are able to get that last win. It was kind of lucky though. I thought Domino's was going to tie it up or maybe even take the lead there in that last inning. I've always had some pretty tough games against him. And in this next one, we are going up against another really good player, a person that had a 60 wins a 60 win to 19 loss ratio or even less than that so uh, this person wins a lot of games this guy is definitely a good player NWK I know he's been following the stream for a while I feel like I have uh, played him in previous MLB the shows but uh, here we hit a double play in the first inning that's never good in three inning games you really have to take each and every at bat seriously and uh, really focus on precise PCI placement because if we didn't hit into that double play if we got Another guy on base and hit the home run with Salvador Perez, who has three home runs now in these few games here, which is a, a lot for me, especially with the right-handed hitter that I just picked up. I'm not familiar with him that much. That is a lot for me, and I was kind of surprised to do that well with uh, uh, Salvador Perez. But we could have actually scored a couple more runs there. A solo shot is nice, but it would have been nice to get a couple more because NWK is a great player. I know that these games are going to be tough. We have to try to capitalize on each and every situation and try to break the game open, especially in these three inning games. I mean, no lead is ever safe. We're playing some of these games on All-Star. We're playing some of these games on Hall of Fame. Most of them are on Hall of Fame, but uh, it does make it a little challenging jumping back and forth, but it is good practice. It's great practice to jump around Hall of Fame, All-Star, Hall of Fame, All-Star, and just to practice on the different difficulties. But here we go. We have the top of the third inning down to his last two outs. And he has the boss, Jacoby Ellsbury, and he goes deep with a two-run shot to tie it up. So we actually went into extra innings. We, we will play a fourth inning 
over on the stream when we're doing viewer games if the game is tied. And after the fourth inning, we'll call it a friendly quit. So we ended up friendly quitting out of that last one. I ended up selling some of the cards. I sold McCutcheon, Boggs. I kept Granky. I sold Salvador Perez. I sold Daniel Murphy, who I recently tried out. El Duque. All those guys. We're back up to about 400,000 stubs. Thank you all for watching. I'm College Lefty. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.